This is Al Ansar TV News update. I am Hussein Muhammad, and here are our top stories for today. Narcon, ISDB, sector deepen economic ties. TMC raises concern over six burning issues in the country. PAC, NDIC, others mourn Jai's foundation CEO's mom. And in our foreign news, Orlando Muslim women create cultural competence results for survivors of domestic abuse. Saudi Arabia defeats external loudspeakers in mosques. And now on the news in full. The National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, and officials of the Islamic Development Bank have agreed to deepen the economic cooperation between the two organizations. Rising from a meeting held at the Jeddah headquarters of the bank, the chairman, CEO of NACON, Al Haji Zikrullah Kulli Hassan, called for support and intervention of the bank in areas of employment of Nigeria's in organization and seasonal slaughtering job, capacity building and facilitating the full takeoff of Hajj Institute of Nigeria, and supply of medical equipment to the clinics. Nigeria, as one of the Muslim populated countries, require your support in poverty reduction efforts. Specifically, we want your intervention in the employment of Nigerians in the seasonal livestock slaughtering during the Hajj and distribution of Hajj meat to Nigerians. In the same way, we need your assistance in capacity building of our staff and supply of instructional and medical equipment for the Hajj Institute of Nigeria and clinic, he stated. The Muslim Congress has called on the federal government and stakeholders to urgently address six prevailing issues raging across the country before they degenerated. The groups raised concerns over the Igwiban train station attack, 2023 national census, the attack on election facilities, proactive measures against resurgence of COVID-19, the legacy of Buhari-led government, and the lingering fuel scarcity. The Amir of TMC and the Chairman, Committee on Social Mobility, Economy and Politics, Abdullah Al Haji Abdul Wasi Tayo Bangbala, while addressing pressmen at the quarterly state of the nation held in Lagos, said the spiraling security breaches across the country are a cause for worry. TMC urged the government to ensure that the measures are put in place to prevent disruptions of the forthcoming electoral activities. The mother of Chief Executive Officer of Jai's Charity and Development Foundation, Dr. Abdullahi Shuhaib, Hajiya Sefina Shuhaib, is dead. She died on January 9, 2023 and was, and was buried in Lagos according to Islamic rites. The Janaza prayer was led by Je Chairman, Council of Ulama of Nigeria, Sheikh Abdul Fatai Thani, at the Muslim burial ground, Jafojo, near Marcas Ajeje, Lagos. The 80-year-old entrepreneur died at the National Orthopedic Hospital, Igbobi, in Lagos, owing to age and com comorbidity. Five children survived the late Shuaib, who was a fashion designer and also ran a restaurant at Ipori shopping complex before her retirement. Among the dignitaries that graced the funeral include the Grand Mufti, Conference of Islamic Organization, Sheikh Dikuri La Shafi, newly appointed chairman of Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, and DIC, Dr. Abdul Hakim Abdul Latif, and many others. May Allah grant her Jannah and forgive her shortcomings. Amen. And in our foreign news, Muslim women in the central Florida area are meeting this weekend to design resources for survivors of intimate partner violence in the community. The Muslim Women's Organization in Orlando's two-day summit will not only educate women about how to spot signs of domestic abuse, but it will bring together women from the faith community along with non-profit and other community partners to brainstorm what resources and tools survivors they need. In Riyadh, Saudi Arabia has issued directives to limit the use of external loudspeakers in mosques. Minister of Islamic Affairs call and guidance Sheikh Dr. Abdul Latif bin Abdul Aziz Al Sheikh has set the number of external loudspeakers used in mosques to make the calls for prayers at four. Dr. Al Sheikh has instructed to remove external loudspeaker exceeding four from exceeding four from all mosques and store the extra ones in the warehouse for later use or distribute them to mosques that do not have enough numbers of them. The minister has launched the volunteer initiatives exhibition at the ministry's branch in Al Qasim, which included a number of pavilions for the administrations of mosques, the hour and guidance in the governorate. 
the minister has launched the volunteer initiatives exhibition at the ministry's branch in al qasim which included a number of pavilions for the administration of mosque dawa and guidance in the governor governorate the expo showcases an achievement programs and initiatives of the current and future voluntary department and that is the size of alan sar tv news update for today do have a lovely day